So I have been watching some videos about game theory and super forecasting. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I suggest that anybody listening to my voice watch about 10 videos on super forecasting and game theory. And you might say, why? The reason why is if you ever have a situation like a, a drama, uh, a drama queen or a, a, let's say a drama, uh, what do they call those ladies? A drama, uh, I forget what they call it. There's a, the name of the person who, who uh, a drama Karen or a drama Kevin. You can actually use game theory and uh, super forecasting in situations like that. Let's say there's something that comes up in your life, right? Something hits you blindsided, right? And you're like shocked. The devil sent something your way that you didn't expect, right? And so your mind all of a sudden goes to the extreme, right? Well, when you study the super forecasting and the game theory, it changes your thinking because when, you're, when your mind goes to the extreme, you're like forecasting the worst thing that ever could happen, right? It could be a medical issue, it could be job issue, somebody could say something or, and you think, oh, I'm gonna get fired, or you might have some kind of extreme thought, right? By studying game theory and super forecasting, you understand, and, and it can help you with investing too, because I was studying it before the crash last Monday, right? So the stock market crashed. And everybody was going crazy. Everybody was selling, right? Everybody was just selling out, right? And I thought about super forecasting. And I thought, you know what? I think everything sold out on a Monday. And guess what? Tuesday it came back. Not all the way. But then it came back again the next day and today. And so I'm not sure how far it's raised up but it didn't go as extreme as people thought so when everybody's just panicking it's because they don't understand like when somebody's trying to forecast something okay going down the highway is a little different if you some see somebody come in your lane yeah you it's a, this is such a major situation if they come in your lane you better put the brakes on and better just go to the extra mile about protecting yourself. But when it comes to just some kind of life event that's that's not that urgent, but it seem, but your mind goes into urgency by understanding uh, game theory, forecasting, and so forth. You know that the curve that you're in your mind, these the people with the, like bipolar, they're going like this. The bipolar people are like this all the time, right? And so if they would study game theory and super forecasting, it would level off. And the reason and one of the one of the ways that you can level off, if a person has a problem with that, one of the ways that you can level off is like I say, you and this is why I'm I'm uploading what I'm uploading recently. When you see the archetypes, <clears throat> like this storm today, okay? Everybody's the storm that came through the Gulf, up through uh, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Everybody's thinking the worst. Oh no, it's gonna, the bottom, the sky's falling, the sky's falling. Anytime somebody says the sky's falling, it's not as bad as it seems, you know. That's my point. And if you practice that, so let's say something hits you. Let's say twice a week you get hit with something. You hit, you know, somebody hits you with something crazy, you know, twice a week. And uh, like on a job or a family thing or a church thing or whatever. So you get hit twice a week with something, right? Now, 
if you get hit twice a week or something. But to every every week you make it through, that ought to be a sign that okay, so maybe it's something in your mind. Maybe it's the way you think, the way you were brought up, the way that you uh, you're looking at it from a time perspective, from the eternal instead of the eternal perspective. My point is, yeah, the devil's trying to hit you uh, and cause trauma so that you live in a trauma state mindset. But when you start studying super forecasting, game theory, and all that, you realize you don't have to live in that. Even if you don't have a, even if you've healed from trauma, every once in a while, you might have something hit you, right? You don't have to live that way. You, you, you're actually retraining your brain. And that, what I was getting ready to say is, the reason I'm uploading stuff about the eternal mindset instead of the temporal mindset, <clears throat> you know, night and day, night and day, night and day, there's going to be another day. Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow take care of itself. What is he telling you? Every day is the same. Whatever problem you face, God is there. He's going to help you through it, whatever it is. And whatever it is, you focus on it. Let's say there's something uh, something that's urgent. So you got to prioritize a lot of times. Let's say you got five things that hit you. Because when the devil attacks, he hit, when the devil attacks, he hits you with three things, that, not just one thing, not just two, at least three, and sometimes five at one time five things at one time this is why you gotta you gotta be prepared if you got if you're procrastinating getting something done get it done today like i went and got my car inspected uh i got an email you're you're uh watches watching my college do so the next day i got an email on friday so monday i went and got my car inspected maybe it was tuesday but i just went right after work and the guy had there was an opening you know can't remember what day it was but anyway i went as soon as possible to get the inspection what am i saying the devil's going to hit you with at least three things when the devil throws a dart at you it's going to be three things at once you know you're under a spiritual attack when you get hit with three things fall down on your face claim the blood cry out to jesus and step into faith walk big time because when the devil hits you with three different things all at once it's a fear dart it's a worry dart it's a temporal it's a it's a what does he use guilt shame condemnation fear worry anxious uh whatever he does so when that stock market crashed monday everybody sold and went crazy i mean crazy and I, because I've been studying the forecast, I knew that the curve, I knew that it wasn't going this way. Everybody let it go that way, but I knew it was just going to be like this. How did I know it? Because I've been retraining my brain to think like the eternal, the eternal truths. The eternal truths. So let's say you're, uh, let's say you're in a, a relationship with some somebody or something right it could be a marriage it could be a boyfriend girlfriend it could be a work relationship or whatever and so you're you're sitting there they said something you said something or somebody else said something and you're thinking the worst thing the worst outcome that could ever happen right that's what you're thinking well if you're thinking that get rid of that thought because it's probably never going to happen. The worst thing possible is not going to happen. That's my point. The mind goes to extremes and depends on the way the way you were raised and all. A lot of that has to do with the way you were raised. And there's people around you. I mean, I, I see it on a daily basis. There's people around you that are totally like expecting the worst in every con every situation everything that hits them expecting the worst what are you doing back here <laughs> can't leave us alone 
I took my keys home accidentally. <laughs> 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 All right. So every every day, the worst thing that you can think of probably won't happen. But if it comes to your mind, say, okay, I need to be prepared, but that probably won't happen. So it's all right to be prepared, but know that you're in a, you're in your own little thought world that don't even exist most of the time. It don't exist till it happens, right? All possibilities exist, yes, but God is taking care of you. And that's what I'm saying. If you have the eternal mindset, if you have the eternal mindset, um, Even if the worst thing did happen, absent from the body, present with the Lord. See, what's the worst that could happen? Always be prepared. But I'm just talking about this super forecasting. I, just people who want to uh, renew their mind. It's really a good thing. <laughs>